All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm not sure what I'm entitled to this lesson. But uh, the the basis is this guy, all right, who refused to cut his hair, all right, who refused to hearken to the counsel of Yahweh Shabbat Shai, all right, your your uh, your disdain for Yahweh Shabbat Shai showed forth, all right. Why? Because you 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 Jakes are rebellious, man, and you 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 may know that you're an Israelite. But you're truly not born again, all right? You truly haven't taken the steps to get closer to your power. Because if you did, you wouldn't go the way of the world, all right? You would detest those things. Let's start out right here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. Because, see, once we heard this word, it prompted a change, all right? And we know that the change wasn't always instant. Okay, but it prompted a change. All right, we, we no longer did the things of the world. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. I'm going to start at verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. See, the Lord has set up teachers to instruct you in the right way to walk. It says, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. So we're, we're giving you, all right, through the spirit and power, you have by shout, shout the wisdom and knowledge and understanding in the way you should walk. All right. Again, that should provoke you to, to, to make changes in your life. You're not going to be that same old man. Right. Verse 22. And ye shall defy also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Right. Those things of the world, man. OK. Those, those certain uh, religions that you were once in. All right, which all goes back to the old man, okay? It says, Thou shalt cast them away as a menstrual cloth. So anything of the world, you're supposed to run from that shit, all right? It says you want to cast it away as a menstrual cloth, man. All right, we already know what a menstrual cloth is. It's a bloody rag. All right, you're not going to sit there and hold on to a bloody rag. Well, that's what you're doing when you're saying you don't want to cut your hair, man. All right? And, and, and a lot of that is just pride. Okay? It says, and thou shalt cast them away as a menstrual cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. And when you come into this truth, that's the mindset you have to develop. Everything in this world is defiled. So why would you want to hold on to it, man? All right. Why would you want to hold on to the customs of the heathen? You see, you have to actually uh, have a renewed mindset. You got to realize that you haven't done it. You, you that you don't know anything, man. That's what you have to realize that you don't know anything. Right. This is second Ezra, chapter 14. And what is that? Uh, Salakia. Let me get it. You got to cast all that stuff away, man. You got to actually have your mind reformed. You see? This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 34. It says, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. See that? You got to subdue your own understanding. The things that you thought that worked in the world, guess what? Those things are not going to work in this truth, man. Okay? It says, therefore, if so be, 
that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your heart. See, and that word heart, go back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. It says, and reform your hearts. Ye shall be kept alive. See, that's a prerequisite. That's a requirement of Yahweh Bashawasha to come near him. You can't be in this world. You can't be a black man. You can't be a Latino man. All right? You can't be a, 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 a so-called Native American man. No, man. You have to be an Israelite or your prospective tribe. That's when the Lord is going to accept you. It says, ye shall be kept alive after you reform your hearts, right? And after death, ye shall obtain mercy. See that? So it's a it's a requirement, all right, uh, uh, of you to come back to your high by with a reformed mind, all right? Not of this world. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. See that? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See? That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And ultimately, that perfect goes into a finish. All right? The Lord is ultimately going to destroy this place by thermonuclear fire. So what manner of conversation are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? I'm paraphrasing at least 2 Peter, right? Well, you're supposed to be uh, meditating on, on, on the words of Yahweh by Shah all right? You're supposed to wholeheartedly uh, run away from those things that were in your past, man, right? This is St. John chapter 3. In verse one, and there was a man, excuse me, and there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh by night and, and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. See, the Lord set up teachers, man. All right, to show you the way. All right, and they're going to come in the same stead of Yahweh Shai. You see, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. All right, and those miracles are being uh, performed now, all right, by the waking up of the of the, of the the elect, man, the whole elect as we... Uh, especially refer to ourselves, man. All right, as the uh, the elder brother Quanah Wap say, this is a, a truly a modern marvel, man. This is a true miracle that the Lord has woke us up out of that dead estate. All right, and knowing that the Lord has woke us up out of that dead estate, man, you are to conduct yourself accordingly. All right, it says, and Yahweh Shah said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, excuse me, unto thee. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. See that? In other words, you're not looking afar off, man. All right? You're not going to actually see the kingdom of the Most High physically, but you're also not going to have your mind spiritually exercised, all right, to the point where you're going to be stable in the times we're headed into. All right? Why? Because you, you, you're being rebellious, Jake. And, and the Lord said, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. All right? Verse 4, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? See? So Nicodemus didn't understand this spiritual thing, man. All right? You got to be renewed in your mind. That's how we're being born again. And again, the Lord is not going to say somebody calling themselves black, okay? He's not going to say someone that's not hearkening to the teachers he set up to, to, to enlighten you on the path that you should walk. You see? He says, Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born. So this guy was a, a ruler of the Jews, but he was really on a on a, uh, 
on a low level spiritually, man. Right? Yahweh shall answer, verily, verily, I say unto thee, that verily, verily means truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, see that? And of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high, see? So your, your mindset has to be renewed, all right? And long has a mindset of the world. It's not something to harp on, all right? It's not something to to uh to to cost you your salvation, man. That's crazy. But again, Jake is not born again. Jake still want to be of the world, right? And, and, and that's an enmity with your high by shall shot, right? Let's get it. This is the book of Romans, chapter eight. And verse five, it says, yeah, verse five, it says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, see? But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded, see? To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded, renewed in the spirit of your mind, is life and peace. See, is life and peace. It's gonna, it's gonna uh, eventually flourish. All right, into the kingdom of heaven. All right, where it's gonna be uh, everlasting life, that immortality, right, and peace. Rest is gonna be allowed. All right, verse seven. It says because the carnal mind. See, the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are after the flesh, excuse me, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. So you're not pleasing your high by Shabbat if you still have that carnal mindset. All right? And matter of fact, the Lord is not going to deal with you with that carnal mindset, man. You can't please him. You think the Lord is going to deal with you? No. This is Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. It says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, yeah, that manner of life. You got to put that away. It says, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and that excuse me and be renewed and be renewed in the spirit of your mind see that you got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness yeah you're going to be separate you're going to be set apart all right you're not going to be of this world it is not going to be hard, all right? You're not going to be lifted up in pride, okay? Because the Lord is not going to save you if you like that, man. You see? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 7, and verse 10. It says, My defense is of the Most High, which saveth the upright in heart. See that? The upright in heart, having that renewed mind. See, the Lord don't look on the outward appearance. He's looking on the inward appearance, man. All right? He's looking on that mind, okay? And if you uh, not trying to renew that mind or, or, or don't have that renewed mindset, guess what? You're not going to be delivered in the time of destruction, all right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakak Badash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.